Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronix Twitter Network? In this tutorial, I want to share with you tips on how you can easily retain skin texture. For those that are always struggling retaining skin texture, every single time they use frequency separation as a skin retouching technique within Photoshop. And if at all this video is helpful, or if at all you have always looked up to these kinds of videos, I request that you hit the like button because it's going to help YouTube push and recommend this video to many people out there so hoping you're done hitting the like button on this video let's proceed with retaining skin texture in your photos every single time you're using frequency separation so frequency separation divides the image into the high frequency layer and the low frequency layer in the high frequency layer we have our textures and in the low frequency layer we have our colors so usually this kind of mistakes or this kind of mistake tends to happen every single time we don't separate the low frequency layer quite well so let me just explain that and if i told you have an action i'll be finding you later on as the as the tutorial is progressing so basically i'm just going to create these two layers by coming to the background and, and pressing ctrl j twice and name this to low low frequency and i'll just name this to high frequency so after i've done this I'm simply going to hide the high frequency layer and select the low frequency layer. And you have to take note of this step that I'm about to show you. So this depends or this determines the amount of skin texture that you are going to remain with in your final retouched image. The step I'm going to show you. And if at all you have a frequency separation action, it usually stops at this point when you have to de determine the amount of gush and blur you want to apply on the skin of your images so just come to filter and come to blur and come to gush and blur so when it comes to this step this is the most important step like i've said before so you take the radius all the way down and you simply look for an area that has more skin textures than the rest of the skin so you can use these keys to zoom in and zoom out so this area seems to have more skin textures than the rest of the skin so the textures I lose out on this prominent area, it means that the rest of the existing textures that are less visible than this are also going to automatically be lost from the image. So by taking up the radius slider, I have to stop at that point when these prominent skin textures are just starting to disappear. Stop at the point when the prominent skin textures are just starting to disappear. Don't lose them out completely, just stop at the point when the prominent skin textures are just starting to disappear from your image. So that is what we're going to do. Come to the radius slider and simply left click and start dragging it up. So you have to keep on dragging up and releasing as you're looking at the textures. So stop at the point when the details or the textures are just starting to disappear. So I'm just going to take it up. So you can see at around 7 that is when the skin textures are just starting to disappear from this very image. So you can see the textures are just starting to disappear, but I can still notice the textures or where they are located. So just stop at that point. And that is going to be the amount of skin texture that we're going to remain with in the final retouched image. So simply hit OK. So if I told you have the action, simply play the action and move the radius slider and continue with the process. So if I told you don't have the action, simply come to the high frequency slider and now activate it. Then come to image and come down to apply image so under apply image you can see that we have 16 meaning the image is 16 bit and if i told you have 8 bit and i'll also be sharing the details for you later on so just come delay and select the low frequency layer because you want to extract the textures from the low frequency layer so make sure the channel is rgb and for a 16 bit image simply change it to add make sure you invert the image the scale has to be 2 and offset 0 Opacity at 100%, preserve transparency and mask cannot check, and the details are going to appear on this gray layer. Then if at all you're having 8, meaning your image is going to be 8-bit right here, simply don't invert the image, simply change the blend mode to subtract. The scale has to be 2, offset 128, opacity at 100%, preserve transparency and mask cannot check, and you can simply press OK. But for my case, it is a 16-bit image, and I'll simply going to use add and invert the scale is to offset zero click ok change the blend mode from normal to linear light and i'll have the textures back 
So in order to retain skin texture, we have different tools that we are going to be using. So I'm just going to group these two layers by pressing Ctrl G after selecting them. So there are different tools that we want to use to retain skin texture. And the first one is going to be the mixer brush tool. So when you're blending skin color or skin tones, we simply want to select the layer that is containing that given detail, which is the color or skin tones, which is the low frequency layer. And come under the brushes, right click and get the mixer brush tool. Then if at all you're having an older version of Photoshop, you may find your mixer brush tool below here. So after doing that, simply come to the hardness and set it to zero. And make sure it is a clean brush and also make sure the option that says clean brush after each stroke has been selected. Then the weight we are going to be using is 9%, load 75, mix 90, flow 100%. Make sure your smoothing is at 10%. Then also make sure as you're working on the image, make sure that sample always is not turned on because when you leave this on and you paint on the skin area, it is going to paint back textures because it's sampling information from both layers and painting it to the low frequency layer, which you don't like. You can see that this uneven or not nice looking texture created because the brush is sampling also textures and painting them in the low frequency layer where they shouldn't belong. So I'm just going to undo that. Make sure sample oil is not turned on. So you come to the low frequency line now, hide it because we want to deal with the colors in the image. And after this, simply using the mixer brush tool, we are simply going to left click. You are simply going to paint. So you left click and hold down and you mix colors that are looking alike in your image. So you mix colors, but you follow the direction of an area. So just follow the shape or the, the, the way a given area is shaped so the more plastic the image is looking the better the retouched image at the end of the process so basically left click and keep on releasing but you're working on another color so i want to show you what we are going to be achieving for this cheek area so when you come back and return on the texture layer you can see that the textures are still intact and when you turn on the before and after just look at how easy it is to retain skin texture in the image so after using the mixer brush tool, you can simply incorporate the lasso tool technique with new selection mode active and a feathering of 22 pixels because we want the edges of the selection to be smooth and you don't want those annoying lines at the edges of the selection. So make sure the feathering is 22 pixels and new selection is activated right here and alias is selected. So still on the low frequency layer, we're simply going to follow the way that area is shaped and make a selection of that area. Then simply come to filter and come to blend, come down to Gaussian blur right there. So when this is done, you're going to get back the initial radius for your frequency separation. So you can either take this radius all the way up, up to when you feel like you have a natural skin texture for the image. So around 21, that is when I'm having skin texture that looks natural and realistic for this image. But if at all you are not sure about that, Simply multiply the radius that you had for your frequency separation by 3. So for my case, 7 by 3. So 7 times 3 is 21. I'll just type in 21 and simply click OK. So you can see that this creates a realistic and natural skin texture for this kind of image. So you can see the before, after. So the lasso tool is basically to fine tune the areas. We may have missed out when you're using the Mr. Brush tool. So this is how you can easily retain skin texture using frequency separation explained in a very easy way so if i told you i've learned a thing or two from this video don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel if i told you i've been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating